All right, and right now we're gonna tie and the adult marsh brown. I'm gonna tie it in a size 14 uh, TMCO uh, 900 uh, BL. Um, the, the thread I'm gonna use is dark brown on it. So being a CDC fly, um, I'm gonna tie the entire body you know, on CDC, uh, tail on, cock the lay on. So let's start with the tail. So good amount of fibers in there. On his rifles, I, I tend to do a little bit longer tail than I do on the nymphs. Uh, this one, probably the same length of the chink of the hook, very similar. Um, for the segmentation, I'm gonna do some uh, copper, um, flat tinsel, extra small, or uh, you can do also with the extra small wire and the extra small on the wire is very important to don't bring any weight to the fly that you don't want. You want the fly to be light. Uh, so the body, what I do, um, I grab the, the feathers, the CDC feathers, what I do, I use the, the, the lower part of the feather to take those fibers out and I'm gonna use them as dubbing for the body. So grab them back. Like this I'm gonna do is use them as dubbing. Of course you can use also there is already packs of CDC dubbing that you can use. Uh, natural brown is a good color. Natural or brown, natural brown. If you want to do something, this is a big mayfly. If you want to do something similar to, to on the during summer for a green drake, for example, you need to change a little bit the color and go go with that olive, for example. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Try to cut these fibers in a good conic shape. Can I do some segmentation here? Not a lot. Three, four turns would be more than enough. Of course, it depends on the size of the hook you're using. If you're tying the size 10 or 12, uh, you can go ahead and put a couple more turns. On the size 14, three to four turns are more than enough. All right. Now, this fly has a Split wing on the CDC, so to to split that those CDC fibers to build the wings, I'm gonna use some use a red or orange um, you can do floor fibers for example that work well. This guy's here. All right. All right. Now there is two options. You can build a thorax with with more CDC, 
or you can use like a swirl dubbing, for example, will work well too. Um, the CDC, of course, give a little bit more flotation to the fly. All right. Now, what I do here is I stack three or four feathers on CDC. And I cut them on the same spot. And I'm going to use the fibers that remain in there. Go. I'm gonna take the flies out from the the feathers out from the, the front of the fly here. And now this next step is very important because it's the way when you're gonna split the wing in two and you're gonna need to try to separate in two very similar one day on the fibers needs to be very similar on both sides. So you have a good balance. So now that I split the wing, as you can see, I'm gonna use these four fibers as a good spot for me to see the fly on the on the distance and also on the moving waters so pull them back a couple turns and the fly is done all right We're gonna cut the floor fibers in a way that you can have a spot that you can see far away. This is a good flight to fish on pocket water also and has very good visibility. And then at the end, what you're gonna do is just take some of these fibers out, give a lot of volume. So, and this. this is the marsh brown of course you can always finish it with a little bit of super glue or varnish on the head i tend to don't do it to keep them a little bit uh, lighter <laughs>